Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and today's video it started to rain. I don't know if it can get any worse, but I'm under huge time pressure and we need to do all of these upgrades. Uh, new bikes, that's our hope after the limited special series in our tour and rental agency tourism3.com. RT20 Plus, it's gonna be my bike after the season. Now down payment is done and we need is we need that one and that's our new bike. It's, I already paid for that. Uh, we need all of this for Friday. Today it's a Wednesday afternoon. This is for me, <laughs> Slovakia. This is for me, <laughs> nature. Look behind you, look behind you. Wow. And I need to do all of these upgrades. Why? Because I'm Martin the vlogger and all of my bikes, they need to be according to certain expectations, to certain limits. So what we're gonna do today and what you can expect, and I will show you one more thing, like, like why I'm even more, more, more busy. Windshield, we have 15 Freedom there. It's gonna be 17 right over there because it's, it's worth. Uh, sorry. We have a highway bracket. They will go on a RT Limited because the guest has requested it, so we're gonna throw it there. We have shocks and sway bar, that's our handling combo, and it's gonna go on F3. I cannot do it on RT because it's not legally mine, so I cannot touch that. We're gonna put pedal box on F3, again, not on RT, I already explained you why. Backrest! Yeah, all of my bikes, they do have backrests. Well, all of the spiders, they do have backrests for the moment. Why? Simply because I'm Martin the vlogger. Uh, top case light because it's extra visibility it's super illegal in Europe so of course we're gonna have them and uh, flag poles phone grips phone holders a lot of work and you know why I'm extra busy have a look what actually one official dealer was doing a maintenance on one bike that I have rented from my friend and have a look what they have let him go with of course this is Daytona that's my beast and this is the tire that after big service that, he, that they let him go with just like this I mean if you are watching Formula One or, or NASCAR or whatever uh, these are really done uh, <laughs> not slick tires but almost there so I need to go because it's a super tight schedule I need to go like three hours somewhere change the rear tire because I'm not doing it I'm not touching the, the belt and three hours back you know what? Enough of this. Let's get started. Yeah, this is much better. It just took me um, like five hours. Why not? Now, let's start with this. Do you see that? Basically, not see that. So, let's change those. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? So is it better? Yeah. I just, you know, it's completely stupid that uh, they are illegal in Europe and and they do work as uh, daylights. They do look, work, of course, as a regular brake. And you're just more visible. All of the lights on RTs are kind of low. And if you have a big car behind you, they can simply miss that you are braking. So safety feature, cool looking investment, about 100 euros and two minute installation time. Oh yeah, and they are absolutely OEM looking because they are OEM and uh, you can get them on my shop martinthevlogger.com shop 
and nobody will notice that they should not be should not be there. I I, I don't know. I, they should should be there. Phone grips uh, is just a tiny upgrade, but I I like it. Why? Because um, it gives a smoothness to your ride. Uh, as uh, this removes a little bit, the film removes a little bit of the vibrations that, that you get, basically. And two, <laughs> it's kind of selfish, but is it selfish? I don't know. But there are heated grips underneath of it. Uh, they are not working great on, on F3s anyway. And, uh, but I like to protect the, the grips as much as possible because we are a tour and rental agency and of course we will be uh, buying and selling bikes more often so I like to protect the bike as much as possible even tiny things like this and I think the the bike looks even better with them I know it's just they are just film grips 20 euros or whatever on my shop but and the feeling is great they are slightly like bigger in your hand the, the rides but I don't know, it just, it's just great. So this is a relaxed vlog, so day two. <laughs> Crazy day yesterday, I just, I just, I'm just laughing. So bikes are still here, not finished. We will, we will I will do it. Um, plus I'm recording video because I have plenty of time. All of the bikes are here. Most of them, they are going on the tour. Those that will be not good to my bikes. Yep, that's waiting for them. <laughs> uh, by the way, New bikes for my babies. Twins will get a new bikes on their birthday. Anyway, and this is what I'm struggling with now. So, dummy, <laughs> dummy has ordered about 80 tires to the like because this is not it, and and that's not it. I just kindly asked the company if they can keep half of my supply. Uh, so I have Kenda Can, Kenin, KN or KR20, I never know, <laughs> front and back, 100 and 100. I didn't want to order that much, but yeah, I guess this is it. And uh, so whoever wants, we ship worldwide. I know in the US, the, many people do ask me from US because you do not have, at least you didn't have these tires on stock. Just write me into email, martinthevlogger at gmail.com because the pricing of the shipping on my shop is a little bit like more than in reality. But yeah, you have to expect something like, let's say like, like 80 euros or 90 for shipping. But I have plenty of, of this Kenda and we can do something. <laughs> and actually you can help me out to get rid of them because, and I, I give it for a super price now. I just need to get rid of them. <laughs> All right, now on to our upgrading of those, yeah. So why Freedom Windshield? Why I'm throwing, in general, five, six thousand euros into upgrades without labor costs? Will it bring more customers here, more guests? Will I be super rich this way or will I bankrupt? I don't know about the last point, but why I'm doing all of this and I'm trying to be super honest. Uh, the idea, especially about windshield, of course I was riding this bike and I'm not the windshield dude, but with the stock one, the wind was blowing directly into my face, into my helmet. So immediately I noticed like that's something, if I will be riding on F3 Limited Special Series, I don't want to have stock windshield. So why, if you are coming down to the Europe and I'm going on the tour for two, 3,000 kilometers, 2,000 miles, I want you to feel comfortable. Uh, honestly, the idea about the windshield came from Trevor and Patty. At home they have their own F3 Limiteds and they are riding with Freedom Windshields. Of course I cannot do every single upgrade that you guys have at home, it's simply not possible. But where I think it makes sense, I try to do business different way. And I know, I know, do I know? I don't know if I know, but 
I believe that if I will be different, if I will bring all my heart and my passion, I will be successful. So in the long story, do I think the windshield will bring me more customers? Do I think the pedal box will bring me more customers? Do I think phone grips will give me more customers and guests? No. But honestly, I believe if I will be doing things natural way, like a human, not like a businessman, and I will be different, People will come to see Martin the Vlogger. I have strong belief in this. And write me into comment if you think I'm too uh, idealistic or I have a pink uh, sunglasses or, you know, ideal sunglasses. I don't know how to call it in English or if I'm thinking the right way. So, Freedom Windshield, it's there. And we are going on a, another upgrade. Oh, yeah tiny bit thing every video I'm always honest it's a promo and also I have an online shop with aftermarket parts and if I'm selling some aftermarket parts I have to have a strong belief in them there's no sense of selling the things that you don't personally believe so of course I need to be riding with those and those that I don't like I simply don't put on my shop I simply don't like ride, ride with them all right, enough of this bullshit. <laughs> On to the next upgrade. As for the phone holders, I'm using RAM mounts. Uh, they do go on a, something that is called top cuff and it's very universal. You can even put their extra mirrors or you can put a GoPro camera in the front or on, on the top or you know uh, your phone or even set now. So it's quite universal. Of course, not in the blogger that comes slash up. Wanna move my feet? Wanna move my feet? Wanna move my feet? Wanna move my feet? Yep, that it's called extra foot rest or highway bracket, call it as you like. And our Canem RT Limited that we're gonna have in Touring Rental Agency, gonna have one. You can comfortably position your foot anywhere you want and still be able to brake without any trouble. It's just additional comfort. Martin the vlogger way telling you toursonthree.com only at my agency now this upgrade uh, it's a little bit different it's something that I not usually throw on the uh, rental bikes not because I don't believe in it I believe in it the thing is it's very individual what it is it's handlebar riser from this one is from Lamont I have one from Show Chrome. They are the same, like the popularity is the same. I will use this one because in the future we will be using uh, SetNav, our GPS swivel or GPS holder and it works great with Lamont um, riser. And why I'm doing this? Well, because the gentleman is coming here for the, the tour that I have. And in case you are, you will continue watching my YouTube channel, you will see the tour. He's a little bit like, he wanted to have it. So, well, here I am doing this for him. It's all fine. Uh, if somebody wanted to be treated extra, well, there you go, Martin the Vlogger. This is amazing upgrade. Um, it, it helps your hands to be in more relaxed position because on RTs, you are anyway, you are sitting on top of the bike. Then the bars are a little bit, I don't know, this raised them. And it's amazing plus I don't know if you have ever dismounted the, the handlebars but there is a tiny pin okay and that allows you to move um, the bars like rotate them to the front to the back in a limited movement but still you are able to do it and together with this you're able to really find a super comfortable position I would go 
tiny bit further but I know the gentleman is going to be most probably a little bit smaller so this and we will adjust it really. handlebar razor out in the vlogger.com slash shop next on the list backrest because the ultimate comfort means ultimate comfort installation of the backrest it's a super easy job it gives you a lot of comfort and actually it's detachable so there is a, a secret like pull thing that you just simply pull and you can I'll let you do it like this like this and you can remove it at any moment you place it back it catches it and you have a backrest bag in its place now there is a one one track actually there is a bolt inside and you can tighten it or unscrew it and you can position even the angle of the backrest which is an awesome thing uh, i don't like the pattern super much <laughs> because the bolt if you're not using loctite has tendency to shake out and yeah but it's all fine in case you use loctite well, I'm not a windshield dude, I'm not a bag rest dude, but the time is coming in for me. Boy, that's, that's a little bit geriatric, but comfy as hell. Comfy as hell. Next on the list, it's a ultimate handling box, heavy duty sway bar, and H&R Sprints. I guess I'm still the only one who sells this combo worldwide and um, again I'm throwing it on every single rental bike that I have it's around I don't know like around 800 euros if I do not believe in that plus labor my it's my time and uh, if I do not believe in that I will be not doing it it's just insane you get so much performance for 800 euros that it's just crazy it will go later on on rt20 plus but i can't do it because it's still not officially mine so i need to keep some like handling i need to keep stock now those springs they are terrible they are super weak for f3 limited the same springs and same shocks are right over there it's just it's just stupid now we will change that and They are not only more robust and the compression rate is much better. Yeah, that it means that when you have a pothole, when you are around the corner, the spring can react faster. It's just the the key aim of your spring is to keep the wheels on the road always connected with the road, which is not possible. And copying the terrain, all right. Stock springs will not, never do it because they are weak. End of story. Sway bar. I already explained what the sway bar does. This one is the strongest, the thickest, the longest. There are different sway bars on the market. Nobody's even close to us. So the longest sway bar on the market. And this sway bar has two holes. Two holes, it's better than one, I guess. have a look in front stock one the back heavy duty much thicker all right much thicker and now I'm not moving my hands not like I'm honest all right have a look how much longer it is it's physics so new sway bar means better feeling from power steering it's like ultimate power steering uh, no much movement no that much movement in the high winds no more, no more like, or that much lifting of your wheel in the corners. When you have rails on the road, it will not, you know, trying to kick you out from the road because you will have more control in your arms, in your hands, over the bike. Yep. 
that's the new sway bar. Heavy duty from Martin the Vlogger. And how it goes, the, this one it's for sport and this one is for cruising. I really don't like that description, but what's the correct description is if you're a super skilled rider, if you like a little bit like hard steering and super sharp, like you move the steering and it goes, that's the sport setup. If you are more relaxed, but still you would like to enjoy the benefit of sway bar, cruising. Every Riker in every spider in my rental agency will have a cruising setup because uh, you need to be skilled rider in order to to have the sport setup. So you know that, right? Yep, of course, it's a pedal box, and all of the bikes that I have in tour and rental agency, the spiders will have a pedal box. Rikers, they are tuned by Dynajet. Now. Why pedal box? Well, simply because I like fun and I want you to have fun. And um, people that they are coming here, they do not have experience with spiders. I will not turn this bloody thing on. They even don't know where it's gonna be hidden. And actually, they don't know what pedal box is anyway, most probably. And two, you guys who are coming here and many of you are coming here from US, Canada, Australia, even far from, from, from uh, further, further from Europe or um, from uh, Middle East, you would like to have fun. We have most amazing mountain passes you can imagine. Why not to have fun? So the answer is why not pedal box? Yeah. It was a long night and you know what? I did early in the morning. When you come to my tours, when you are with me, I, I don't care what kind of job I have to do. But in the morning, I was Martin the vlogger, the bellboy. Yeah, I got you. I got you always, you know, with whatever you need. On the Gross Glockner last time, John has forgot his backpack with the passport in a random city tour train. <laughs> We found it anyway so uh still a couple of more things need i need to do like put organizers whatever in there one thing i cannot do for the moment i cannot do anything with the weather but it should be fine stay tuned on the whole trip i need to clean the bike prepare them because the friends are coming my guests are coming private tour is starting we're starting today hi guys uh welcome to super relaxed video from Bratislava from Slovakia and I have a tour here and actually let me see Mr. Uh, Saud I'm number one <laughs> <laughs> where are we tell them like you are on the YouTube we now. are in the uh, parliament no like like country try to try to uh, get Slovakia good Bratislava. Because, because Khalid was in Slovenia a couple of hours ago <laughs> <laughs> I know I told us uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah even we have a whatsapp group and he he posted a picture like super proud of, of Slovenia Mr. Khalid, you are the man who, who did it all. Yes. Did what? You will be on the YouTube. Are you yes. happy? Yeah. How's it so, going, guys? <laughs> Smile, right. please, for YouTube. By the way, um, regular height just happens in Martin as a tall guy. So. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, normally it's like this. Yeah. Well, you know what? Stay tuned, watch my videos. And in case you would like to experience Europe on three wheels with a crazy dude, tourson3.com guys thank you very much for watching and remember come here and visit me and always have fun <laughs>